Okay, so the next bit that we need to look at is just this phenomenon about how small particles have a larger surface area. Uh, and when we're talking about this, we need to look at it in terms of a ratio. And we talk about a volume or a surface area to volume ratio. So here's an example. We have a large particle. Now, naturally, this large particle has got a bigger surface area than this single small particle. And this, I think, is where some people get a little bit confused. This large particle has the same mass as all of these small particles. So whenever we're talking about volume area to surface ratio, we understand that for a given volume, the surface area can change. So the volume here is uh, the uh, height, the width and the depth times together. Here, the surface area is the, the area of one side times by all the sides. So if we look at this one, we can see that the area of one side times all the sides, if we're applying this um, value of two centimetres uh, for each width and height and depth, the area of one side uh, is two times two, which is four. Now we're not working out the volume, we're working out the area, so it would be 4 times the number of sides, which is 6. So 4 times 6 is 24. And so then I have 24 in one cube and I would times it by the number of cubes that I have. So in total there is much greater area, which we've proved mathematically here, than there is here. <laughs> 